Hi, this video is going to look at the impact of uh, exchange rates on British businesses, particularly about appreciations and depreciations. Uh, it's part of this rather big topic, 2.5.1 economic influences. I'm going to try really hard to keep this video less than 10 minutes. Um, so this is a visual representation of the economy. Each arrow represents a flow of money. So I'm going to ignore the, all the other ones apart from this element where we do trade with businesses and consumers abroad, right? There is a flow of money out from the UK economy to businesses and consumers, well, businesses predominantly abroad, when we um, import stuff to the UK, right? Because the good comes into the UK, it's an import, but we need to pay for it. Um, and therefore money leaves the UK. But when British uh, businesses export things to consumers or uh, foreign businesses, um, we sell them stuff and money comes into the UK that we earn from export. And exchange rates have a big impact on this flow of trade and um, money with consumers and businesses abroad. So what is an exchange rate? It's the price of one currency in terms of another, and they constantly change. So uh, today, if an American person or someone who's got US dollars wants to buy a pound, it will cost them $1.36 to buy one pound. Um, if I want to buy one dollar, it will cost me uh, 76 pence to buy that dollar uh, given today's exchange rate. Okay, so um, it doesn't really matter what these are today uh, because they change constantly. Exchange rates are constantly moving up and down. And that's what appreciations and dep depreciations are. This chart here, uh, this end is 2015 here. And we can say that the value of the pound was relatively strong right up until this point here um, where we voted to leave the EU. This was the day that we voted to uh, leave the EU. This was the Brexit day. And since then, the pound has been operating at a much lower level. In other words, the pound has depreciated over the past five years, albeit with you know peaks and troughs since then. But the general pattern has been uh, lower. Okay, so um, currencies are constantly changing value. It's called an appreciation when um, a currency goes up in value, when it becomes stronger. So let's think about a strong pound. If the value of the pound goes up, what will be the benefits of that for UK businesses? Well, that's great news for UK businesses who are importing raw materials. Why? Because if I'm trying to buy mater raw materials from someone abroad for my business, right? If the value of the pound goes up, I effectively have to exchange fewer pounds to pay for that raw material because the pound's got, got, got stronger. I exchange fewer pounds to buy that raw material. So my raw materials become cheaper for me in pounds. <clears throat> if the 10 pounds goes up in value, I can buy more raw materials with that 10 pounds. So effectively, it cuts my costs of production, which is great news for businesses that import raw materials. Um, I might be able to invest and expand overseas, right? If the value of the pound goes up, all right, I might be able to buy a factory in China. That factory in China effectively becomes cheaper. So that's great news for me if I want to expand overseas. A strong pound makes it cheaper to do that. Also, um, it makes the UK a very attractive place to work if the value of the pound goes up. All right, Workers who are based overseas might look at the UK and go, look, I really want to earn some money in pounds so I can exchange it and send that money home and it's worth more. So um, it makes it easier to, uh, labour is attracted to the UK and uh, it makes it, it, it provides a pool of labour effectively for UK businesses, which is great news. 
But um, if the value of the pound goes up, it becomes much more difficult, I'll deal with this bottom one first, to export stuff, right? Because my customers overseas, right, they look at, at, at my product that is priced in pounds, and if the value of the pound has gone up, they're going to have to exchange more of their currency to buy it. Okay, so it's not good news. A strong pound is not good news if I'm trying to sell a product in pounds to someone who is using dollars, right? Today, they exchange $1.36 for one pound. Okay, so it's about, you know, $13 for a 10 pound product. If the value of the pound appreciates and one pound equals then $2, right? So I buy $2 with my one pound that 10 pound product becomes $20. I get the same 10 pounds, but it costs my foreign customer, my customer overseas more money. So um, another negative effect on UK businesses is that there's more competition from overseas competitors. Because if, okay, so let's say I'm a cheese manufacturer in the UK, selling cheddar in the UK. Well, if, the value of the pound gets appreciates and becomes stronger, it becomes cheaper for UK customers to buy brie, to buy Parmesan from Italy, because the value of the pound has gone up, it makes those products cheaper. So I'm gonna face more competition from overseas competitors. Basically, um, so basically it's good news if I'm importing raw materials for my production process, but it makes it far more difficult for me to sell products overseas. So what about the other way when the pound gets weaker or depreciates? Well, it's basically just the opposite way around. It's great news for me if I'm trying to sell products to foreign customers because the pound's got weaker, they exchange less of their money to buy my product. Um, uh, the price of cheddar, uh, sorry, of brie, right, is gonna go up, okay? The pound has got weaker, so, so a, a British person trying to buy some, some French brie is gonna have to pay more money in pounds to import that cheese, right, buy it in the supermarket. So um, the price of foreign stuff is gonna go up and it makes me, as a domestic, a UK business, more competitive. And if I've got, um, operations overseas if I bought that factory in China and the pound depreciates but I've earned a load of uh, money in, in in the Chinese currency then I can exchange my Chinese currency for pound um, and it's great news right that that that, that Chinese currency buys more pounds and um, I'm going to make more profit when I exchange my foreign currency back into pounds but on the downside, if I'm trying to import raw materials, the pound gets weaker, I have to pay more for those raw materials. And, you know, maybe foreign workers don't want to come and work in the UK if the pound isn't worth as much. So when they bring, exchange it back into their home currency, if the pound's not worth as, much, worth as much, why are they going to come and work over here? And that might reduce the amount of foreign uh, labour available for UK businesses which is not good news. So to summarize, we can use the acronym SPICED, which works quite well, strong pound, imports cheap, exports dear. Basically, great news for, it, for people importing raw materials, strong pound, but bad news for exporters. Doesn't work quite so well, but weak pound imports dear. Um, so it's expensive to import raw materials, but it's great news if I'm trying to export stuff because exports become cheaper. And that's a nice way to remember it. And I'm hoping that's less than 10 minutes on exchange rates.